Danny from Archive and uh, I write songs, produce and tamper with keyboards on the stage. I don't see Archive as a sound, I don't see it as um, something that runs through uh, all the albums and everything we've worked on. Um, and a lot of people who come and go around it, band members and musicians, but it's the overall sound that keeps it going is, is to me what Archive is. It was a very slow build with Archive and that's what I think has made it very solid and very strong and musically and sort of fan base wise I think it's, you know, it's great. And we've never been a big band, we just kind of just nicely, kind of nicely grows, you know, and, uh, we grow with it musically. Hip hop was my first love of music. I started with sampling drums, you know, like most of the hip hop bands did, you know, experimenting more with sounds and stuff on, on vinyl. And uh, because you can, you know, you can do amazing things with it by not even necessarily sampling a whole sort of drum loop, just sampling bizarre sounds and just, you know, not even turning the turntable on and messing around. It's just, I find, I find it really exciting. And I think it's, a, it's kind of a big part of the archive sound, that, the oddness of all of that. I met Darius in a studio in, uh, in Brixton. When uh, 20 years ago, when I was 20, and um, well, I was working with a guy called Christian from Genocide 2, and um, we were doing a, a track called Sirens of Acre Lane. And uh, we were just working in the studio, and this odd looking bloke with an old college scarf came in and broken glasses, and he had to put on long hair at the time. And um, then uh, he just got in and he started messing around playing the drums and stuff, and you know, in the, in the other room of the studio. And, we got talking and hanging out, and then um, next thing we were in the studio uh, doing the recording of the A side of, the, of uh, that track, which is uh, Narrow Mind, which is a great tune. I still don't see it as real half the time, I think. I, think I kind of uh, still can't believe that that's me on stage, and they're, you know, they're all here to see us. You just get right into it, really, you sort of like you get into your own world. And half the time, you forget there's anyone out there watching. At so certain times, you just can just focus on the band, especially if it's a nice sort of smaller stage. You can just kind of um, you feel right, really in there, really part of it. And, uh, yeah, you just just have it, really. Just have a good time. Touring is just it's a fascinating thing to go out and have thousands of people singing your lyrics when you've been you've sat in a little basement writing them or sat in your kitchen writing them, and then you go out and people are actually you know singing away and like what you do. There's nothing more satisfying, really. Best job in the world. <laughs> I'll get my inspiration from many places, but I'm a very big people watcher. I spend most of my time sat in bars watching people, or sort of sitting on my own and with a book and a pad and just like watching the world go by, because I find people very inspiring in general. I find, um, for me, I just find the darker side of life and my own sort of emotions of what I go through, I just find it a hell of a lot easier to write about. I hope it's just a kind of a bit of a just emotion, really. I hope they get. I mean, we get people coming up and saying to us, you know, that you know, they're, they're, they're certain songs have gotten through the hardest times they've ever had and things like this. And you know, I find that um, yeah, just just you know, it's pretty incredible the, the, what the experience that people do go through. But it's a, a very, a, I think, Archive is very honest. I mean, lyrically, we're a very honest band. We don't try and be clever or anything. It's like you know, we write about what we feel about anything, and it, it's, it's. I think that's. For me, is why our fans are really seem to understand it. You know, and, and with it, from whatever country they're from, they all seem to get their heads around it, and, and it means something to them. You know, and, uh, I think that's really important.